China's infrastructure development strategy continues to advance with unprecedented scale and precision. The year 2025 marks the scheduled completion of several transformative megaprojects that represent critical investments in transportation, energy security, and digital infrastructure. These initiatives are not merely construction feats. They are carefully calculated components of long-term economic planning, regional integration, and sustainable development goals. Curious about how infrastructure transforms nations? Subscribe to Information Thin for continuous coverage. Launching our countdown with a logistics game changer at number one, Shenzhen Jiangmen Rail Link. This high-speed rail project is a cornerstone of the Greater Bay Area's integrated transportation network, designed to deepen connectivity between two major economic hubs. The 116-kilometer line will slash the travel time between Shenzhen and Jiangmen from approximately 90 minutes to just 30 minutes, facilitating a true one-hour economic circle. Engineers have overcome significant challenges posed by the Pearl River Delta's complex geology, constructing a route that includes over 85% bridges and tunnels, such as the 13.6-kilometer-long Pearl River Estuary Tunnel. Beyond passenger convenience, this railway is expected to unlock substantial economic potential by streamlining the movement of talent, technology, and goods between Shenzhen's innovation ecosystem and Jiangmen's advanced manufacturing base. Its design incorporates cutting-edge noise reduction and energy recuperation technologies, aligning with sustainability objectives. Number 2. Sichuan-Tibet Rail Line Widely regarded as one of the most challenging railway projects ever undertaken, the Sichuan-Tibet Railway is an engineering marvel traversing some of the world's most complex terrain. Stretching over 1,740 kilometers from Chengdu to Lhasa, the route ascends to altitudes exceeding 4,000 meters, navigating seismically active zones and extreme weather conditions. Builders are employing innovative techniques, such as extra-long tunnels with oxygen supply systems and special viaducts designed to withstand tectonic shifts. This railway is far more than a transportation link. It is a strategic initiative to foster social and economic integration. It will provide Tibetan communities with reliable, year-round access to goods, healthcare, and educational resources, while also opening up unprecedented tourism opportunities. The project includes extensive environmental protection measures, including wildlife corridors and water source protection systems to minimize its ecological footprint. Number three, Pinglu Canal Project. The Pinglu Canal is a monumental water conservancy project designed to create a new, efficient maritime corridor between the Pearl River and the Beibu Gulf. This 134-kilometer artificial waterway will allow large vessels to bypass the congested Pearl River Delta, reducing the shipping distance between Guangxi and its international markets by approximately 560 kilometers. The project involves constructing three navigation locks, over 60 bridges, and extensive embankments to manage water flow and sediment. Beyond its obvious commercial benefits, slashing logistics costs and boosting the competitiveness of inland ports, the canal is engineered with sophisticated water allocation systems to ensure regional water security. It also incorporates fish passages and other ecological features to protect aquatic biodiversity, representing a modern approach to balancing economic development with environmental stewardship. Number 4. Luxi Pumped Storage Facility As China's renewable energy capacity expands, the Luxi Pumped Storage Power Station addresses the critical challenge of grid stability and energy storage. This facility functions like a massive battery, using surplus electricity from wind and solar farms during periods of low demand to pump water to an upper reservoir. When energy demand peaks, the water is released through turbines to generate hydroelectric power. With a planned capacity of 3.6 gigawatts, it will be one of the largest facilities of its kind in the world, capable of powering millions of homes during peak hours. The project, nestled in the mountainous terrain of Yunnan, required extensive underground construction for its powerhouses and water systems. It is a key enabler for the broader adoption of intermittent renewable sources, ensuring a reliable and clean energy supply for the region's growing industrial and residential needs. 
Number 5. Guiyang Data Valley The Guiyang Big Data Valley is a deliberate and strategic effort to transform Guizhou province from a mountainous region into a leading global hub for the digital economy. Leveraging the province's cool climate, which reduces data center cooling costs, and stable geology, the valley is attracting major tech corporations, startups, and research institutions. The project encompasses vast data centers, a dedicated semiconductor park, and innovation incubators focused on artificial intelligence, blockchain, and cloud computing. It is also pioneering the development of China's South Computing Power Hub, designed to process data from the economically dense eastern regions. This initiative is creating a new tech talent pool outside of traditional first-tier cities, driving economic diversification and positioning China at the forefront of the next generation of data-driven technology and innovation.